in this lecture we will learn about how to find out the uh, number of nodes having only one child it means number of nodes having degree 1 uh, in the in this binary tree suppose their node is the leaf node so obviously if a node is the leaf node then uh, the number of uh, degree 1 nodes for the subtree starting at 700 will be zero so for all the leaf nodes the number of leaf nodes starting at this subtree is zero suppose i am starting at this node it means the subtree that i am considering is this one for this subtree the left exists but the right does not exist so if left exists it means there is a possibility that this node can be a degree 1 node since its right does not exists then obviously this is a node which is having degree 1 so i will count as the number of degree 1 node for this node as 1 now suppose i am at this subtree for this subtree left is null and right is not null it means definitely this node is a degree 1 node suppose i am starting at this node 200 it means the subtree that i am considering is this one for this subtree left exists and right also exists so we will find out the number of leaf nodes on the left side a number of degree 1 node on the left side and number of degree 1 node on the right side also and then we will sum these two we will be able to find out the number of leaf uh, count 1 nodes starting from 200 in this case number of degree 1 node on the left side is 1 number of degree 1 node on right side is 0 so 1 plus 0 means 1 is the count of now degree 1 node for the subtree which starts at 200 now if i am considering the entire tree means the subtree that starts at 100 for this we will find out the number of degree 1 node on the left side and then the number of degree 1 node on the right side and then we'll add these two this will be the total number of leaf node in the tree so on the left side we have one degree one node on the right side again we have one degree one node so one plus one two is the number of degree one node for the subtree that starts at 100 now let us do the programming of this if I am at a null node, obviously the degree 1 count of degree 1 node for the null node will be 0. Now, otherwise, it means uh, if, if I am not at the null node, if that node is a leaf node, obviously the count of leaf uh, degree 1 node for the subtree that starts at that place will be 0. Otherwise, means I am not uh, neither at a null node nor at a degree 1 node, uh, degree 0 node, means the leaf node. So, obviously, either I am at a degree 1 node or I am at a degree 2 node. So if I am at a degree 2 node means its left is not null and right is also not null. Then I will find out the number of n1 nodes on the left side and then n1 nodes on the right side and we will add these two. This will be the number of n1 nodes for the subtree that starts at a node which is having degree 2. Now suppose neither I am at a null node, nor at a leaf node, nor at a node which is having degree 2. So obviously I am at a node which is having degree 1. So if I am at a node which is having degree 1, then the number of nodes, number of uh, uh, n1 nodes will be incremented by 1. I will consider that that particular node is a degree 1 node. But I am not sure if uh, the number of uh, degree 1 node on the left side and number of uh, degree uh, one node on the right side is how many so I will find out the degree one nodes on the left side or on the right side and that will be the count of number of n1 nodes it may be of some confusion this line if uh, I am saying that either left exists or the right exists why I am calling it uh, uh, the, uh, the function number of n1 nodes on left side and right side both so you can take up this with this example in this example, suppose I am looking at the subtree which starts at, suppose we, we add another node, let's say that node is 800 
and now link up these two nodes 700 and 800 then if I am trying to find out the number of uh, n1 nodes starting from this 400 it means this subtree then since its right does not exist right of 400 does not exist so I will increment the count of n1 nodes by 1 but I am not sure how many n1 nodes are there on the left side so I will find out the count of n1 nodes on the left side if I call the count of n1 nodes on the right side it means I am calling this function with a null value and in the in the function we have already seen that if a node is null then count of n1 nodes will be 0 so it doesn't matter if you call uh, for the both the sides left or right since uh, I am trying to do this on the left side or the right side or if we have to add a specific condition if left is null then we are calling for the right and if right is null then calling for the left this will actually be an overhead of writing few more lines so this will actually work so we can now check with an example if this function works fine let's take uh, this example so the node which is the root is 100 then the left of 100 exists which is 200 left of 200 exists that is 400 left of 400 also exists that is 700 left of 700 also exists that is 800 left of 800 does not exist right of 800 does not exist right of 700 does not exist right of 400 does not exist right of 200 exists which is 500 left and right of 500 does not exist yes the right of 100 exists which is 300 left of 300 does not exist the right of 300 exists which is 600 left on right of 600 does not exist now you can see that the uh, Count of nodes in this binary tree is 8, height of the binary tree is 4, count of leaf nodes is 3 and count of degree 1 node is also 3. So see how this is 3, 800 is a degree 1, sorry 700 is a degree 1 node, 400 is a degree 1 node and 300 is also a degree 1 node. Fine, so this way it is able to, able to find out the degree 1 node. If I look at the programming uh, program once again this function of uh, finding the count of n1 nodes in this if tree is null count of n1 node is 0 if tree is leaf node count of n1 node is 0 if uh, left is not null and right is not null it means both of the both of the pointers are not null then i will find out the count of n1 nodes on the left and then count of n1 nodes on the right and will add these two and this else means i am at a degree 1 node so if i am at a degree 1 node the count of degree 1 node will be incremented by 1 and then I will find out the degree 1 node on the left and the degree 1 node on the right I will add these two. So if I am at a degree 1 node, count of degree 1 node of for that node is 1 added with count of n1 nodes on the left and count of n1 nodes on the right. Thank you.